At the start of the pandemic, we all watched with horror what was happening in Italy and hoped it wouldn't happen here. Well, now Italy is fully engulfed in a second wave. In the last 24 hours, nearly 38,000 people have tested positive and more than 600 people have died. Hospitals are overwhelmed again, and it's a cautionary tale for all of us. Crystal Gamansing reports. At this hospital in Naples, it's curbside care. For at least four days, staff have been treating patients in their cars, checking blood pressure, even administering oxygen. And it's not the only hospital in southwestern Italy making headlines. A video spreading on social media appears to show a corpse on the floor of a bathroom. The director general of the Cardarelli Hospital says an investigation is underway into the death. La cosa, diciamo, più deplorevole it's correct, he says, that people know of certain things, but what is deplorable is the way in which the communication was given. Naples and the entire Calabria region is struggling to cope with rising COVID-19 cases. More than 4,000 people there tested positive in the past 24 hours, yet it is listed as yellow on the country's tiered system of restrictions. Five Italian medical organizations signed a letter warning of the dire situation playing out, saying hospitals are now close to collapse, adding a probable, if not certain, consequence will be the inability to guarantee quality standards for care for all chronically ill and non-COVID acute patients. Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte has resisted imposing another national lockdown. Speaking at a summit for world leaders, it doesn't appear he'll be changing course. We needed to look beyond the emergency and focus our global action on fostering an inclusive, sustainable and resilient recovery. A sustainable and resilient recovery means little to this woman. Her father died after testing positive for COVID-19, and she's angry because he wasn't admitted to hospital right away. Doctors warn of an additional 10,000 deaths in a month's time if the government doesn't introduce more restrictions. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, London.